All right, so having a strong immune system is really key to battling the coronavirus. And there are some natural remedies that you can use to fight viral infections. And joining us to talk about it is Master Herbalist Sarah Hanna. Good morning to you, Sarah, and thanks for once again joining us. So let's talk Hi. first. Hi, I am sure you're getting bombarded with questions. Right. Everybody thinks they have the answer, right? I've heard from <laughs> oregano oil to lemon and ginger to elderberry. So Walk us through some of what you have, these homemade elixirs that will actually help us stay healthy. I want to say your weatherman just said keep it moving. But I want to say that one of the best ways to build your immune system is to dance. So if you're home and bored, put on some music and start dancing. I love it. Look at this energy you have. I okay, know. let's go. Let's talk you about it. You look very scientific with your gloves on, too. I love you're keeping that you're it using there. gloves. So I put them on because even if you're making your concoctions in the house, one person could be infected and the next person may not feel it yet. So we're going to make a medicinal vinegar. And you know, you just said like everybody has their cures, ginger, elderberry, lemon, all these things are great. We're not saying that they're going to cure Corona. Um, the doctors don't understand corona, herbalists don't understand corona, corona, but we do know and understand herbs and foods that help build the immune system and that are antiviral. Got it. All right, show us what you're making here. So I'm making a medicinal vinegar. I've got some onion. You can put in some ginger. Okay. You can put in some peppercorn. Okay. And I've got some garlic. Now, if you want it to be spicy, you can add some cayenne pepper. Now, does that help, though, or is it just adding spice? Uh, well, cayenne pepper always helps increase movement in the body. And if you do get infected, we know we want it to move through the lymphatic system. We want to get it out of your body. Okay. So here's some vinegar, you stir it over. You can use any vinegar in your house. Apple cider would be the best. Mm -hmm. Or you could use red wine, you could use rice. Put in a dash of honey. Yeah. So you get that sweet and sour kind of energy going. Now, did you let that sit for a while? Now, you can let this sit for a month if we had that time. <laughs> But you can start using it after an hour. I was going to okay, say, nobody's waiting say, a month here, Sarah. Up? <laughs> and onions and garlic are antimicrobial, mm -hmm. and they can kill infection. And so this is just to help you. If you're really gutsy, you can take it by a tablespoon. And if not, you can put it over your fish before you cook it or you can put it over your salad. So is this safe for everyone to ingest, uh, children, pregnant women, seniors, or yeah. do you have to be cautious? I mean, I don't, wouldn't put in too much cayenne pepper for giving it to kids, but yeah, this is for people of all ages. Okay. What if you're having trouble falling asleep? What do you suggest for that? No. Oh, great. So I have that over here. So in our Vedic medicine, they talk about Google milk. So I, I use rice milk or almond milk in my house. You could do regular cow's milk. And what you do is you put in some turmeric and you heat it up. And if you're having trouble sleeping, you can take a little bit of nutmeg. Now, don't overdo the nutmeg yeah. because it, it can be a little toxic at a high level. But I have a little... That would be problematic. Uh, yeah, and you can flip it right in it. You heat this up and sip it the hour before you want to go to sleep. So and you will find that you start to get... Sarah, we are out of time, but I had to ask you real quick. I went to one of the stores near my apartment the other day, and I asked for elderberry syrup, and she said we are sold out. Oh, really? So is this, what? Yeah. what is the point? Everybody's thinking, okay, elderberry, elderberry, is, elderberry. Is that a key ingredient? Yeah, so there was all this bad press telling that it would be make you have a um, explosion and that it's not so and I actually bought a lot of material to show you that that's not the case. 
Elderberry is not an immunostimulant. It's a great source of vitamin C. And as we discussed in the previous segment, it showed in a lab that it actually killed that viral infection. Mm. So it's definitely something to integrate. I mean, I have so many other herbs. And, and kids can take elderberry? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Got it. The number one herb we're using is an herb called Oksha, O-S-H, and that helps the immune system work, and it helps with any lung infection. All right, Sarah, we're so out of time elderberry. here. We are out of time, but I appreciate what you're yeah. saying. I appreciate your advice. None of this is a cure-all. And you're dancing. But keep going, keep dancing, keep <laughs> moving. And your book, Moodtopia, really gives a good breakdown of the different herbs and oils, by the way, and their uses. It's available on Amazon and Kindle. So thank you for helping us get through. I love your energy this morning. Yeah. We all could use a little bit of that energy. We could.